Hello everyone, it's Castle the Paul Mayor here. And Paul is what it means you should do dungeons now. So I hopped into dungeons and used my little Nobody very ugly juju ball, not even a recom, and a AOTD, and some random pieces of Shadow Assassin, a Strong Dragon's leggings, and a Frozen Blaze chest plate. But I did many dungeons and then improved my gear. Oh, and after on the paw just five days, I improved so much in my gear. And here is what I got. So firstly, I need to open all the things I dropped two days before the pot because they still also have a discount on those chests. I also wasted two of my dungeon keys because I get a lot of good drops such as legions like this one. Then we go to... Also, quick tip, if you put your dungeon chest key into your chest, you can see which chest you have opened none like this one. Then we go to there and found our little shadow assassin leggings, which will replace my strong dragon leggings right now. Then we have this chest containing a recon bobulator, which is pretty nice for upgrading rarities. I spent the first one on my juju bow, since it buffs its damage by a bit, but a lot. I also got a floor 7 help with my friends. And I dropped Wizard Catalyst sure. and Precursor gear. I reforged my Frozen Blaze chestplate into Ancient. Next, I also have a few filming books, such as this one. It only cost 800k during PA. That's pretty nice. And that should be well, all the chests right now for the floors I did before PA. Did now we are actually going to do dungeons during PA. Oh. Since my gear is pretty bad, it's only 3 4 Shadow Assassin, not even Frag, and the Frozen Blaze chestplate. My main job isn't to do DPS. I mostly do the secrets and clear the puzzle rooms, or do trap. I first started with floor 5, since floor 6 is a little bit too hard to find a good party with Kata 24 only, so I did some floor 5 to level up. And firstly, Floor 5 decided to do some trolling and gave me a warp stone, which is completely useless for me now. It's only a flex item for the AOTE, buffs its damage, it's not even as good as Teroic for intelligence. So I disrespected the drop and just rerolled it. And it gave me a helmet. Oh. Then I also managed to drop something very funny. Which is two legions and a fuming during one floor five. That's pretty lucky. But the luck doesn't stop there. To make my juju even more maxed, I put all five fuming potato books on it, buffing by another 10 damage and 10 strength, which cost me 5 million coins. Which is a lot. Then I dropped something that I didn't even expect to drop. That's super rare. And. You can see this floor 5, bedrock chest, shadow assassin chest plate. This thing is so rare that you can make literally 11 million profit by just opening the chest. But guess what? The good luck didn't end. I got something even rarer called the last breath. This item is the same rarity as the shadow furry, but it's not as good. But one is very useful for defense shredding later on. But as you see, I got the second one, which is even rarer, but I don't have any use. So still, like the warp stone, I skipped it again. I also managed to drop even more recon bobulators, which I am saving a lot of right now for the later wither pieces. Then there was this very amazing moment where I dropped two recon bobulators in a single run. Uh, let me find it. It's in here, the float 6. And as you see,
I didn't re-roll the chests, and I got a recon Bobolitar in the bedrock chest, which is very lucky. And I got another recon Bobolitar in the obsidian chest. <laughs> Later on, after I got the last breath, I am actually a little bit useful in Flow 7, so my friend decided to take up me when his team only had 4 people, and I managed to do some S plus Floor 7 runs. I am very lucky and dropped the with the boots on the first run. Like here. Precursor gear? No. I don't want the precursor gear though. No so it no so it. No good drops. Let's recover the with the one, probably. Um reroll. Oh, with the boots, nice. And then the wizard leggings on the second run. I didn't open the helmet because it isn't much useful. Now I'm only missing the Iron Jesus drop, which is Wither's chest plate, and I didn't got it until now yet. So I probably need to grind floor 7 after I get a high kata level. Of course, I first yoloed two recoms on my Wither pieces, which are the boots and leggings, and I put the two growth sticks I've dropped from experiments before on it, and Legion 3, which I got from floor 5 on it. I also put Ancient Reforge on these. Then we recommed it for more damage. The next thing I have to do after getting those two nice wizard pieces is first to get two protection six for them. I can easily buy from a to NPC in dungeon called Tomioka through Abifum, which requires four mil for each. But I don't have money, so later I went on money grinding. But before money grinding, I also dropped a prot six right on the experiment. What? I just said. I wonder if we get a prot 6 on the experiment, I j and I already got one. <laughs> I mean, we have to find a pair. Okay, there it is. Easy prot 6, there. <laughs> See all of the XP pairs? Yeah. Oh, there are two insta finds. <laughs> the prot 6? <laughs> That's lucky. Later on, I put the prot 6 onto my wizard leggings, making it G6P6. Then after nuking another divan mine with another guy, we made 4 million coins, which we can buy from this Tomioka guy for, six, for, six, for 4 million coins. By the way, this is actually profit if you still offer it on main, so it is worth adding the contact for just a titanic XP bottle. Then I put the prot 6 onto my wizard boots, and the only thing left is to frag run which is doing solo floor 7s and killing the giant in the blood room for their frags. I decided to go for maxer boots and necron leggings, so I have enough speed while dungeons. Yo, finally, 8 diamond teeth. Lassos are easy, but diamond giants really don't like me. And we got our wizard, <laughs> our necrons leggings and wizard boots. That's pog. That's the end of the video, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss the future videos, bye!